here we have our first question at quizzes. So here, as you can see, we have two lines. And the first thing you have to do is look at the intersection point, And then we have to figure out the x value and the y value. So the inter intersection point, if we, if we looked up on the x value, we're going to see 4. So we have to keep in mind that the first, that x equals 4. And then we have to look here on the y value and see the number, which is negative 2. So x equals 4 and y equals negative 2. We find that here and then we submit the test. It's correct. Here we have another question. Now this has one solution. We see two intersection points. Again, we look at the points. Now we have to count. Here is zero, one, two, three, four, five. The intersection point is at one. So X equals one. Now we have to look at Y here. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Negative because it goes down. If it goes down, it's negative. And if it goes up, it is positive. So here, y equals negative 1. So x equals 1, y equals negative 1. We have to find it here. And the answer is correct. Here we have another. Bus graph two lines in order to find the solution to a given system of equations. What is the solution? Here we have two lines. We find where the intersection point is. So we first we have to find x. If we go straight up, we're going to find number one. So x equals number one. And then if we go here to the y-axis, we're going to find negative four. So y equals negative four. Here x equals one, y equals negative four. The answer is correct. Here we have another one. So we see the intersection point first. We first, first we have to see the x value first. So here x, the intersection point, we go straight down, number four, x equals four. Now we have to find y, we go straight here and then we have to count here is zero, one, two, three. The intersection point is on three. So x equals four, y equals three. Here it is correct. Here we have, look, this question has, this has two parallel lines. If you see a parallel line, it has no solution. So we can't solve this. It has no solution. We cannot solve a solution if it has parallel lines. Here we see another. This question, as you can see, it has no intersection point, but it is an infinite, infinite solution. Why is it called an infinite solution? Because the two lines are exactly the same. They are exactly the same line. So this question has infinite solutions. If we see a line that are exactly the same, it is called infinite solution. Here we have another intersection point. This case is called one solution. So we find the intersection point first, go down, look at x, it is number one. And then now we have to find the y value. We go here, it is negative three. X equals one, and then y equals negative three. I'm sorry, not negative three, um, three. Because if we go up, it is positive. Here the answer is correct. This case, is called infinite solutions 
It has infinite solutions because the lines are exactly the same. So this is infinite. It has many solutions. If a system of equations has no solution, what does the graph look like? If it has no solution, no solution is parallel lines. If we see parallel lines, the case or the question has no solution. Here we have another one solution question. Number, the first step is look at the intersection points. Look where the x value is, which is number four. Step two is you have to look, is we have to count to see where the y value of the intersection point is. So zero, one, two, three. The y value is three. So x equals four, y equals three. The answer is correct. Here we have another intersection point. First, we look at the intersection point. We look down for the x value. If we go down, it is negative 12. And then if we look where it is on the y value, it is 3. How do we know it's 3? We have to count. Here is 0. The middle is always 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. So x equals negative 2, y equals 3. The answer is correct. All done. Here we have 100%. Thank you.